Hi there, Good Golf here with the next installment of my mirror networking videos. This time I will introduce the node list server concept based on the code by Matt Coburn. You will need to go to his GitHub page to get the actual node list server up and running and I have updated my Unity code to support it. Ok, let's first explain the concept of the node list server. The workflow of the host is almost the same. You click on host in the offline scene and it moves to the room scene. However, while the host starts it registers itself with the node list server which is running on a VM hosted on the internet. Why is it hosted on the internet? Well, all clients must be able to see it and retrieve the list of game hosts. So having it on the internet is the easiest way to have exposure of the node list server. When a host shuts down, it calls the node list server and requests to remove itself. The client workflow is a bit different. In the offline scene the player clicks connect to host and instead of connecting to the address it opens a new scene named host select. This scene queries the node list server for a list of all hosts. It displays the list and allows the player to select a host and join it. Only then does the client call the network manager's connect to address method with the IP address it got from the node list server. When that is successful it also moves to the room scene. So what do we need to do to get this up and running? First of all we need a server hosted on the internet, which runs the Node.js based node list server. As usual I will be running it on an Azure server, however if you prefer to use Google, AWS or any other provider that's fine too. My example runs on a Windows server based VM, but of course Linux will work just fine. I'm just less experienced with Linux, so I will leave that up to you. Once your VM is up and running, I recommend configuring auto shutdown to limit costs. I set it close to midnight when I'm pretty sure I will not be needing it. When we have the Windows server running, you will need to install a few components. My recommendation is to start with installing Google Chrome, since Internet Explorer will only cause headaches. Open IE, go to Google, download Chrome, Add the Google site to the save internet addresses, download and install. Next install Node.js. Go to node.js.org and download the latest LTS version. Then install it. Install Git. Go to gitforwindows.org and download Git. Then install it. Now we are ready to install the list server. Create a folder, for example c backslash node list server and open a command prompt. Go to this folder. Type git clone https forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash software guy forward slash node list server. Then edit the config.ini file and you can find the instructions on how to do that on the github page. Then install the requirements using npm install minus minus only equals production. You can now start the server with the command line node list server. Test it with this curl command listed in the video description. For the node list server to be accessible from the internet you will have to make sure to add an inbound port rule for Azure VM in a networking interface. Open up port 8889 as shown in the screenshot. You will also have to open the port in the Windows firewall, otherwise the connection will still be blocked. Once this is done you will have to restart the node list server, just Ctrl C in the command prompt and start again. I will list a couple of URLs in the video description to point out the key steps of configuring the server. Now we have the node list server running. I extended the starter assets project from the previous video to work with the node list server. There's a new prefab used in the host select scene to represent each host it gets from the node list server. Each prefab has the host list item UI script attached to it to simplify accessing its UI components. The network room manager UI underscore NLS is an extended version of the network room manager UI and now includes functions for the host to register itself with the node list server. 
The key script doing the heavy lifting is the Note List Server Communications Manager. That script had to be modified a bit since the latest update to the Note List Server broke the example code. The Network List Hosts script retrieves the hosts, shows them in the UI by using the host list item prefab, and now allows the user to select a host. When ready, it connects to the host through the Network Room Manager. When I run the host and the client, we see a problem. The client tries to connect to the public IP port of my server, which is hidden behind my NAT firewall. Technically, I could enable port forwarding and unblock the necessary mirror ports on my PC's firewall. I didn't do that for security reasons, and now the client throws an error. It is possible to work around this problem by enabling WebRTC, stun servers and signaling. However, all example code I've seen so far uses outdated mirror versions. I may look into this later, but for now I will try another route. Steamworks is supposed to cater for players sitting behind net firewalls, so let's give that a try. So that will be my next adventure. Let's see if we can get Miro to work using Steam. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, then please like it. I'm off to create the next video.